show you how to replace the vacuum brake in a Febco sprinkler riser. We had an early freeze a few weeks ago before I had a chance to drain the system and as a result the pressure of the ice caused the old plastic components to shatter. So I pulled all those out of the cavity and now here I have a repair kit. It's a very simple install. It comes in two pieces. This piece simply sits in the cavity like so. This piece screws on, screws in, inside of the brass housing. I put some grease on the threads to help it along and we also have a brand new O-ring. The instructions say to tighten by hand, so that's what I'm going to do until it's just snug. Next step is to put the bonnet on. It goes over the post like so, and then there's a nylon lock nut that holds it in place. And I'm just going to make that snug. Now I'm going to close this valve and open this valve so that I can charge just this portion of the riser with water to see if there's any leaks without recharging my underground pipes which I've already drained. So I've charged uh, that portion of the riser with water and there are no leaks so we know that we have installed it correctly. <laughs>